Welcome back to day two of Baltimore Fashion Week, one of the highly anticipated events here in Baltimore. I'm here with one of the amazing designers tonight, Miss Linnea, who will be debuting her design called Russian Circus. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what inspired you to become a designer. Um, okay, well, I first got into designing when I was about 11 years old. My sister was looking at colleges, and this one college sent a very large book of all the majors, and I was just flipping through, and I saw fashion, and I was just like, wow, and I saw these amazing pieces of art, and then I started taking sewing classes, I started drawing, and just escalated from there. Wow, so, Russian Circus, tell us what inspired the name. Okay, well... From when I was five years old to nine years old, I grew up in Moscow, Russia. And my favorite place to go would be the circus. And I would see all the beautiful, bold colors and acts and stripes. And um, most of my collection is just inspired by Moscow itself. The flag, the lines of the train tracks and metro maps and just, and even the language, just everything I would see on a regular basis. Nice. So, you know, moving from Moscow to Baltimore, how did you, Fit in. How did you adapt to the new Baltimore culture? Um, well, I don't live in Baltimore. Yeah. I, I live in DC. Okay. Um, Close enough. <laughs> yeah. It was it was really crazy. I was definitely the outsider. I was um, probably the only ten year old that didn't know what football or SpongeBob was. Omg. Yeah. So it was interesting, but you know, I'm doing all right now. I'm 18 years old. Nice. Still here. So were you here yesterday or is this your first day? This is my first day. Okay. Have you been able to? Baltimore um, no, not really. I don't know much about Baltimore. It seems like a really cool city, though. Yeah, it so. is, it is. We have a lot of different fashion here. It's similar to D.C. as well. So what can you say from Russia to D.C., what is the fashion, what are, what are the trends that are going on right now? In D.C.? Mm -hmm. Um, gosh, I don't know. I see a lot of tight things going around <laughs> on girls my age, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Mm -hmm. In Russia, um, there's an extreme lack of color around oh, really? the streets. There's a lot of just those big furry hats, and it tends to stick to gray and black, mm -hmm. and you know, not very exciting. But yeah, I see a lot of crop tops, yeah. which I can be a fan of sometimes <laughs> if I go for a salad for a couple weeks. <laughs> cool, that's really cool. So, how was your experience working with Baltimore Fashion Week? It was. It was interesting. It was very real in a sense because I just graduated from high school and my fashion show in high school was basically just like an art show with some people showing up to see some cool things. But these are real people in the industry and they really know what they're doing. So it's it's really interesting, really humbling. So you'll be debuting today. Yes. Are you nervous? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Will you do your designer walk at the end? Um, I will try to. I don't I don't have heels, but I'll do my best. Okay. Can we expect the Betsy Johnson cartwheel or something special like that? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> okay, well thank you for chatting with us thank and good you. luck today. We are so excited to see your pieces. Thank you very much.